In this video, we will cover how to use the SCARA Continuous Flow System with Sika Mix Concrete. We will be using the horizontal mixer to prepare the Sika concrete before it is put into the hopper. Before opening the bag, make sure that you are wearing a proper face respirator to not breathe in any of the dust. Be sure to add the correct amount of water, as adding too much or too little will make the mixture very difficult to work with. Once the mixture is ready, you can open the valve and let it flow into the continuous flow machine. Now that there is water in the mixture, it is important to not let it sit idle, as it has been activated and will be hard within minutes. You can help the material get further down the hopper by using a plunger-like device or a vibrator motor. This plug is the power input for the machine and should be the only one that is plugged into an external source. The other cords on this machine are used for extra attachments that are not used in this process. This cord should be attached to the start-stop button. It is important that the grate be placed on top of the machine for safety. The machine will not operate unless this magnet is in place. Here is an example of trying to start the machine while the safety grate is not in place. When the machine is powered on, it will immediately display an error message. If you are receiving an error message, make sure that the grate is in place and restart the machine. The controls on the machine are simple and easy to use. There is an increase and decrease speed button, as well as a forward and backward switch. You should only need to reverse if there is a blockage in the system. Normal printing speeds for this machine are between 4 and 30. It is very important for the person controlling the pump to be in constant communication with the person controlling the printer in order to get the best results with the object you are trying to print. The start and stop button is on the end of a cord for this pump. If you sense anything is going wrong, immediately push the emergency stop button on the control panel. One trick you can do is start the print early and then bring the print speed down to 1%. Once the pump is turned on, you then restore the print speed to full and monitor the speed closely with the pump operator. The height may need to be adjusted for the first layer. If the material is being stretched out, you need to decrease the printer speed or increase the pump speed. As you can see here, the pump operator is changing the speed to make sure that the print is going well. You should never remove the safety grate or other safety equipment from the continuous flow machine unless you are certified to do so. This covers the basic operation of our continuous flow machine. Thank you for watching.